Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne Stampin' Up. Welcome to another Stampin' Day in Simcoe. Card making day in Simcoe here. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator and if you live in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator, you can shop with me. You can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is stampsandtea.stampinup.net. So welcome everybody. So today we're going to make um, a card using these decorative masks. They're called Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. They're kind of hard to see. It's a very pale page in the catalogue, but it's in the mini catalogue. Um, and it's on page 47 and the masks are 1450. And uh, I'll just show you what's in the set. There's this beautiful snowflake. Let me see if I can do this can you see that better that's a bit better um this beautiful snowflake mask which you would color over and uh make it make a nice snowflake card there is this beautiful one with all the different leaves um at the end of the video i'll show you cards i've made with them but this is another beautiful one beautiful autumn leaves there's this one which i'm calling a hound's tooth check um makes a great Christmas card and then what we're going to use today out of the set are the um, sunflowers now the sunflowers are called um, the masks are called layering masks okay now you can't see it on camera but in the top left corner there is a one two three and four and that's the order you use the masks in okay these make these this makes a beautiful sunflower i'll just put that one down and you can see sort of the size of it and i'm going to use these dies today to make today's card now we've also got some we're going to use some blending brushes and the blending brushes are in the annual catalog on page uh 137 yeah 137 um we've got all sorts of different sizes now in one set it's $18 and you get three large um, brushes and large I mean are sort of like this you know pretty pretty big pretty big to work with as well they're great for coloring covering huge spaces in the other set you get three smaller brushes and they're only $16.50 and the supplies to make these cards I, I kept them very minimal today so that um, you don't need a lot of supplies you don't have to have lots of extra pieces on hand um, and I'm going to show you how to make a quick card using the sunflower dies now the cardstock I've used for the card itself is some um, crushed curry crushed curry that's a nice sort of a deeper yellow and then I've got two pieces of basic white four and a quarter no five and a quarter by four for one for the front and one for the inside and we've got just a strip of brown to line um to back the sentiment and i've got a scrap of white for the sentiment as well i've got some scraps over there okie doke so let me well we can just color on this piece i think we'll, we'll just make a mess and, and by the way when you use these brushes they wash out like this one's been used for red now it's got a little pink on because red is very hard to, to wash out but they do wash out nicely they've all been used before for different colors so what i've got here is a piece of basic white five and a quarter by four and i'm gonna tape it down i'm just going to use some post-it tape you could use painters tape you can use anything you've got i'm just gonna tape this down to my um to my grid my grid paper lining it up nice and square and i'm just taping it down top and bottom all right i've got four different colors of ink i have some uh daffodil delight for the flowers or old olive for the leaves early espresso and pecan pie for the um centers of the flowers those there try and keep them in order i'm trying to work fast today this is basic white cardstock and it's a little too bright for me so i'm going to tone it down just by taking my um daffodil delight ink pad my 
yellow brush scrubbing it across and picking up color and I'm just going to give this whole sheet of card um, a little bit of a pale yellow tint okay so I'm just coming off the outside of the card because you always come off the card first and that's all I'm gonna do just that it just you can you really can hardly see it I can see it um, it's just pale yellow now I'll tell you what I am gonna do I'm gonna move this up on my my uh, grid on my grid so you can see it better there there all right so we've got dye uh, mask number one we've got mask number one it's got a number one in the corner now I've already played with these as you can tell by my markings here um, and I'm just gonna what I did was when I used it the first time I lined the top of the mask up with the top of my piece of cardstock and I marked where I thought the sides should go and the bottom should go and that was sort of centered on um, centered over the cardstock I'm just going to hold that down tape this down I'll just put a piece at the bottom there so I've got my cardstock taped to my mat and I've got my mask taped to my mat now I'm going to use the same yellow yellow ink pad daffodil delight you can go over your flowers twice to make them darker if you if you wish so let's get started here and we're just going to really ink this up and just go to town on this there's my first flower second flower third flower now I didn't ink re-ink the um, brush after the the second flower and before the third flower I'm just using whatever's on the brush for that third flower just to make it a different color I'm just gonna go over the bigger flower one more time make it a little darker so that I've got different shades for my flowers that's the first layer okay let's close that up we're going to do the leaves next because the leaves are template number two or mask number two so let's peel this up carefully and these masks they've been used three times and the, the, the color just washes off I'm going to line this up again carefully sort of in the center of over the center with my card centered underneath the masks tape 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 and I'm just going to show you how I'm taking a baby wipe here you can see there is yellow dye around the flowers I'm just going to put it to the side wipe it off with it there you are wiped it off no color left now I will say I think red uh, ink red ink from the ink pad might stain uh, the mat eventually but it didn't the first couple of times I've used it so now we're going to take some old olive green and we're going to color the leaves now you see my cardstock underneath is smaller than the mat so the leaves are going to go off the edges of the paper but that's okay so there's one two three and this is so easy to do so that's it for the second color so again we're just going to Peel this up, give it a wipe, there just like that, that's number two, the second layer, peel this off, we're looking for number three and there is number three, again I'm just going to line this up, sort of centered on my card, whoops, maybe make it nice and straight, there. And 
piece, two piece. Oops, that one didn't stick. There. So there we are. We've got some pecan pie for the fluorescenters. For the fluorescenters. This is right, pecan pie. And I'm just going lightly around for the centers of the flowers. And you can make these as dark as you like. If you want to go darker, you just pick up a little extra color. Flower centers. So you see how this card is coming together? There's my uh, three layers. That's three out of four layers. Give that a wipe. And layer number four is the flower centers, which we're going to do an early espresso. Just like that. And early espresso is the darkest colour. I'm going to do that. And early espresso. Now, I'm not doing that too dark. I don't want that too dark. Let's peel this. Up. I'm going to leave it stuck down at the bottom so that I can peel this piece up and that will act as a hinge and I can have a look and I think it's good. So let me take the tape off the mask, wipe the mask and there we are done. We've used all four masks. We've got a lovely card front there. Um, just move the tape so it's out of your way. While we have the early espresso ink open, we're going to stamp on a scrap um, a sentiment. We need a scrap of white and I'm going to, because I don't want anything to be white white, I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock, my yellow, and I'm just going to lightly colour the corner where I'm going to stamp the sentiment just like that. Close that up again. My sentiment is from an older stamp set. It's called Inspired Thoughts. It's got a bit of everything in it. It's got Christmas, sympathy, thinking of you, birthday, time to be remembered, sheltering you. Really lovely stamp set. And I pulled out the thinking of you on your special day. And I'm going to ink that up and Stamp it on here, just like that. Close this up. I'm just going to take my paper cutter and I'm just going to cut this off really close to the letters. I'm looking at how much space I have here and trying to give it the same amount of space at the top. Can give you on your special day that might work. I think I could even take a little smidgen off this edge if I'm careful. Yep, that worked well. And then I'm just going to cut it to be about the same distance each side of the letters. Yep, that'll do. And then I've got this punch. Now you don't have to do this. I just thought it might be a nice touch. I've got this punch, which is called a detailed trio punch. And all it is, is it's a corner rounder. Okay, so I'm putting my one piece in there like that. Now I need to move this for just a minute because the best way to use this punch is to put it on your desk, line up your cardstock and lean on it there. There's one and then we're going to do the other side. Same thing. Put it in there like that. Line it up. Press down on it. 
this way again. We'll do the other side. Might not have been right in straight there. I might have to do that side again. Let's just check this side. I just want to make sure it was there. We've got a piece of brown um, early espresso cardstock to back it onto. Just need to some snips. Got a little edge on there. There. That was just where the edge of the the punch didn't catch it. I'm just going to put it on here like this, using some tape. Whoops which will work better if I take the cap off. I'll put this on here like this. Giving it a bit of space around it. Nice and straight. We're just going to snip this off so that it's about even on each side and then I'm going to just cut this straight along the top. There. And we could leave it like that or we can put it back into the punch, I think. On. Two. Three and four. There. Yes, so that was a little punch called a detailed trio punch. Now we can put this card together. We've got the front of the card, which is going to go there. And you see, it because it's not stark white, it really works nicely against the crushed curry paper. Some tape. Here. And we've got a sentiment to go on the front, which will just pop up on a couple of dimensionals. Just pop a sentiment on the bottom. There. Piece for the inside. Now, as I say, we could have stamped or coloured a flower for the inside as well, but I did forget at the time. But you know what? I could always go back and do it. There we are. So that is the card we've just made today. That's the sunflower um, decorative masks. Let me show you the other cards that I made. So that's the sunflower. We have the snowflakes there. That was some um, balmy blue. Let me see. Balmy blue and boho blue. Uh, that's those two. And we have the leaves, sheltering you with love when, at a time when words fall, fall short. And all I did was I laid the mask down. I coloured a little orange, a little red, orange, yellow, green. And that makes a beautiful card front too. And then I did this one, the um, hound's tooth check. And I used the old Scotty Dog punch from last year or the year before. But it punched out two nice Scotty Dogs and they just look great on the front of that card. So there we have all four cards for today. So that's it for this week, guys. Have a nice week and I'll see you next week. Bye.